Hi, I'm Scott Flowers from Cloud Ninjas, and today we're here to talk about Dell PowerEdge R410 server memory. For starters, the R410 is a great cheap 1U server. Um, it's, it's a really economical solution for a lot of just simple uses that you need out of uh, servers, file hosting, simple virtualization. Um, it's just, a, a, honestly, it's a very inexpensive solution. Um, and the RAM that you use inside is DDR3 RAM. You use ECC registered. Uh, it's actually got the same configuration as its older uh, 2U uh, R510 brother. The uh, difference with, say, the R410 and the next gen R420 is you can only use ECC registered and you cannot use load reduced server memory. With ECC registered, you can max out at 256 gigabytes, loading all eight slots with 32 gigs of RAM. You can get up to 1600 megahertz doing that. Um, with the R410, it has kind of a unique uh, memory configuration compared to some of the other servers that are out there. Most servers have two DIMMs, or I'm sorry, yeah, two DIMMs per memory channel, um, sometimes three, but in general you rarely see one DIMM per memory channel, um, and there's actually, it goes one, one, two with the R410. And when I open that up, I'll show you a little bit more with the color coding how that works. Uh, but the R410 is a, is a great solution uh, for a lot of uh, simple uses. So let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you a little bit more about the inside of it. But before we open it up, I just want to always note, make sure you grab your ESD gear. I always want to protect the machine. So let's get our ESD gear on. We've got our ESD gear on, so we are safe to open the machine and prevent it from getting shocked and damaging any of the internal components or the motherboard. So to open the machine, uh, it's fairly simple. Um, it's a little bit more difficult than, say, the um, uh, 510, 610, 710 servers. Those have an actual latch that you flip up. In this case, you need to uh, make sure that it's set to unlock, but you need to push the button down and then you need to slide this towards you, okay? So you've got to apply a little bit of pressure here. Sometimes it gets a little bit stuck, but you just literally push and then pull it towards you, or if you're standing on the other side, push, <laughs> uh, and then simply pop the top off. Once we are inside, you will notice that it looks very, very similar to the R510. Uh, the heat, sink, heat sinks are in the exact same position. The RAM is in the exact same position. Literally, the only difference is this is a 1U server versus a 2U server. All right, so to get to the RAM, you need to remove the air baffle, which is very simple. You just simply pull this plastic piece up, and you're in. Uh, you will notice there are two CPUs. Uh, CPU 1 controls these four DIMM slots right here. CPU 2 controls these four DIMM slots right here. And as we were discussing earlier with the memory channels, uh, it goes white, 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 black. White is the start of a new memory channel. So it's channel one, channel two, and then these two modules right here are channel three. You will want to start with channel one. So if you are uh, not going to max this out and put eight DIMMs in, let's say you are going to put in two DIMMs, and you're using two CPUs, you're going to want to make sure that you put your first DIMM in the very first memory channel slot, which is on the opposite side for CPU 2. So we'll show you how to insert them right now. It's very simple. You just pull up your RAM. Note, there is a notch, also known as a key in the middle of the memory module. This is to prevent any user from potentially putting in the wrong memory and make sure you put it facing the right or the correct way. Uh, so if you were to, for instance, try to put in a desktop module, the key is actually in a different location. If you were trying to pull out modules from the machine you had prior to this, say DDR2 modules, the notch is in a different place. Same thing with all the new modules from coming out for DDR4. So you simply make sure your notch is lined up the correct way. I like to open the tabs first and simply just set it in. It's very easy. There's not a lot of challenge here. Uh, the main thing I would say is just make sure you simply push this down, not too hard because you don't want to damage this, the machine, but simply push this down and make sure 
that the notch actually gets clipped on. And then same thing with this side. Sometimes you have to push it a little bit hard to make sure it fully gets inserted, but again, you don't want to be rough with it. It's a, it's a, it's just a gentle baby here. <laughs> so now you come to the opposite side over here, and again, channel one is on the opposite side. The motherboard labels everything, so it, it makes it easy for you, but you just want to make sure that you're using the right dim. And simply pop it in. All right, so now we've added in two 16 gig modules. We got 32 gigs in here, and it took us, what, two minutes, three minutes? Very simple to upgrade. Um, and honestly, with upgrading memory, I feel like with memory and potentially CPUs, that is where you get the, the most added performance out of an upgrade for your machine. So we always highly recommend having uh, good DIMMs in with fast speed. Uh, and in a machine like this, really, you, you probably should have 8 16 gigs or 8 32 gigs if you really want to max it out and really want to get good performance out of it for what you're doing. And honestly, the cost to do that isn't that high these days. So it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and, and add in uh, a higher capacity and get better function out of the machine as a whole. All right, well, now that we've done that, uh, it's really simple to put back together. You just make sure you put the shroud back in the correct place. Be careful of the wires. And then simply put the top back on. And it's really that easy. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. Or if you're looking for an upgrade, we have a ton of options and a ton of parts in stock. So just email us at uh, sales at cloudninjas.com. Well, thanks again for stopping by today and have a good one.